Today I'm visiting Tani Bolch, a big house just outside Manchurag. Here's the car park. There's no one in the uh, little information uh, chalet there. And uh, various notice board, information boards. And the main feature of Tani Bolch is the gardens, I think. It's uh, Follow this path, which uh, I believe leads up, leads up to the house. This garden was badly damaged in the uh, storms of February last year, uh, over 18 months ago. This beach has survived. Uh, so there are probably quite a few trees here that have been uh, disappeared since the, the big storm. Unfortunately, there is some traffic noise as the main road just uh, just below us. Stumps. All these trees were trees here two years ago and they're all got now gone. Up there ahead of me is some chalets which uh, the root, before the house was built uh, before the house was taken over by the Snowdonia National Park. Uh, they were thinking of uh, building chalets for rent. September, so just back to school, and I think uh, I've got this place to myself right now. Uh, now I've had the choice. I think I'll hope, hope this leads to the house up here. Back there, I think led to private chalets. Still, quite a few trees did survive, although. It's some of them look as though they've been damaged. Uh, I'll turn left here. No, no I won't. I have to, another, oh, maybe it is a private, it, it is a public right away. Nice flowering shrub. The sun just come out, there are clouds around. Let's see. Of the chalets, which are now privately owned, and uh, there's the big house. Yes, it is uh, quite an impressive house. It uh, was owned by the owner of the Blyneth-Estenyard quarries, which uh, at the one time were the largest slate quarries in the world. So he was uh, an incredibly, well, an incredibly wealthy family. Uh, it is a very pleasant garden, and, uh, but there's no one here, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, well, pleasant in a way, but down there is, there is Manchurug village, specially built for the workers by the owner of this uh, house, Tani Bolk, seem to have survived on this side of the property. Uh, now, here's a junction of paths, and this goes up to the house. There's a nice tree. Of course, the main flower, summer flowers are probably coming to an end now. Uh, but, uh, But it's certainly a well kept property and of course it's a nice mature tree. And uh, here's some steps leading up to the main house. Here's the uh 
the tea gardens, there's the tea shop. And I have a enjoy a cup of tea here before I tour around the house. Which is open. But there are workers up there. It's uh, residential courses take place here. Chosen the wrong day to come around uh, Tani Bolt. It's uh, the 40th anniversary of the uh, Nodonia Park ownership. So there's a looks like there's TV cameras down there. There's going to be might very very well be on uh, the local TV or radio. And uh, it's a picture of. Uh, the old uh, kind of slate uh, carrying trains. So this is all I'm going to see at the inside of the house. Uh, back out to the gardens. Tea room, two pound twenty-five p <laughs> for uh, a nice pot of tea. Here's the the big house. Not allowed inside, unfortunately, but I can come come another day. And there's the some kind of celebration going on, a tour, a grand tour, and. Uh, up the Manchurug uh, Valley to uh, Manad Mauer. There you can see a, a lily pond. And I'll be going down to, oh, there's the uh, 40th anniversary uh, party. And this is a pleasant terrace here. And, uh, there are a couple of visitors, but very few, except for the anniversary party. I've got the place to myself. So down there, and I'll tour the garden. Okay, this is uh, kind of known as the fernery. But uh, it has clouded over and I felt a spot of rain. Just come down from the house. And I'll be going down this this path here to uh, that little pond. These trees appear to have survived the great storm. Okay, I'm taking this. I don't know if you quite see them, but these trees from Japan were planted 120 years ago. And they are over 100 feet high. And, uh, very attractive trees again survived the storms. The Japanese giants and this is what the storm did. Uprooted. And there's the remains of these trees. of the uh, surviving trees. Okay, it started raining, but I'm in a sheltered spot here. Uh, that's a rhododendron tree, which is, according to the guide, is planted 200 years ago. It is about 40 feet high. Um, okay, the car park is coming up. So, this is the end of this, end of this tour of the garden. That's where, all those late, that path leads up to the chalets. And this, uh, 
typical of the notice boards or information boards.